so after posting this video a lot of people looked at the title and thought it was a clickbait or something but after watching it up to the end they realized that in fact it's hardly easy for black to lose against d4 if white takes the free knight and so in this video i just want to challenge some random chess players on lee chess in order to demonstrate how powerful the mechanics defense is even against higher rated opponents so watch up to the end okay so here we have a game oh i'm playing against a 2500 rated chess player so this is the mechanics defense where we allow white to keep on advancing his center pawns so i'm expecting to see f4 oh knight c3 hmm let's pin the knight yep so we go bishop b4 pinning the knight to the king oh bishop d2 if f4 i have knight g6 so we go knight f6 first i think targeting the e4 pawn and the knight yep so yeah, I think knight f6, we need to be very careful. This is a 2500 rated player. Knight g6. I think my knight is under attack. So knight g6 is the way to go. Okay. Oh, okay. So pawn takes with... So I take... I take with my f pawn. My knight is under attack. So I take the knight first. And then play knight d5. So now I'm putting more pressure on the f4 pawn. Castle short. Hmm. Can I go pawn to d6? Okay, let's see what white is going to do. Okay, pawn takes. I take back with my pawn. Bishop g2 attacking my knight. So, if bishop takes my knight, okay, let me go king h8 first, so that if bishop takes my knight, I can take back with a pawn and take white's knight on h3, yes. Oh, he just castled short. Let me go e5. If bishop takes on d5, I take the knight on h3. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, I take on f4 first oh he wants to checkmate me on h7 so let me attack him with my d knight to f6 yep h7 h6 h6 so let me chase this knight away first before taking on g3 Yes, pawn to h6. That's what I'm thinking, yep. So after the knight goes away, okay. So I can take the knight now. And take the pawn on g3. So pawn takes, pawn takes, queen b6, check. And then I will have to chase white's queen away with my a rook. Okay, now knight e5 attacking the queen once again. And also intending to go knight g4 check next. Wow. <laughs> this is a good start. So we go knight g4 check. Rook e2 is also coming. Oh, queen c5 first. I have checkmate on h5. And rook e2 is also coming. Controlling the second rank. Life is good for me <laughs> okay guys this is nice i love this a 2500 rated chess player oh he just resigned <laughs> so you guys can see for yourselves that these gambits do work even against higher rated opponents i mean i only show you the best openings the best ideas which is why you have all the reasons to trust me and subscribe to my channel share this video hit the like button and leave your comments in the comment section down below you can also check the link for my website in the description down below to purchase all my courses okay let's play another game 
Oh, I'm playing against a 2250 rated chess player. Okay, d4, knight c6 again, the mechanics defense. If pawn to d5, I go knight e5. Oh, I was expecting pawn to e4, but knight f3, I usually go pawn to d6. So that if he takes, I don't care doubling up my pawn since I have pawn to e6. Well, now bishop f4, what do I do against that? Well, I think now I can just take the knight on f3 and play pawn to g6, trying to fiancare my bishop in the style of the perk. Knight f6 is coming. Look at white's pawn structure. So idea is to go bishop f5 and cast a shot. So now I can play pawn to f5. The idea of f5 is to support knight c5 later on. That's why I played knight d7. Idea is to go knight c5 next. If pawn b4 I have o. Oh, white plays knight e4. What can I do? Knight, knight b6, yeah. Attacking the light squared bishop. So if bishop b3, I play pawn to e6. e5 is the idea. If pawn takes, bishop takes. Bishop takes, pawn takes. My rook is now eyeing the dark squared bishop. So e5 is also coming later on. Queen under attack. I go pawn to e5 or maybe rook f5 yes I have pawn d5 lots of ideas here this is a 2250 2250 rated chess player so d5 I have plans to go rook f4 even though I don't know the idea there why why do I even want to play rook f4 so knight c4 is also in my mind hmm white is even low on time why am i even playing fast okay now i can play rook f4 attacking the bishop and bring back my rook huh can i bring back my rook rook f7 queen d7 next rook a f8 is coming oh my knight is under attack now i'm attacking the bishop the dark squad bishop somehow but i'm going to play rook a f8 at worst i have rook Sorry, I have knight d6 and knight f5. So rook a f8 first. Oh, this is somehow complicated, but let me just play knight d6 and then knight f5 is also coming, just like I said. So first I advance my pawn, I think. So the only thing I'm doing here is to make sure that my pieces are sitting on the most active squares. That's how we make plans in the middle game. It's not just about memorizing moves. Don't memorize moves. You should just be looking for the most active squares where to plant your pieces. For example, my knight on a5 is looking very good. I think now I can go knight h4, yes knight h4, just putting my piece on the most active square, oh my god, oh I can even suck on f3, after pawn to e5, I think, and pawn to d4 first, I want to suck on f3, now I can suck, 
<laughs> wow. And then take the pawn on h3, then checkmate on g2. This is amazing. I deserve to be given 12 virgins. Up. Anyways, never mind. That was a biblical joke. Why is my online rating so low? That's what my dear subscribers ask me from time to time. Well, to make it clear, I use this account specifically for discovering new tricks and gambits and for creating new content. Okay, now let me play the last game of the day. Oh, I'm playing against a 2192 rated chess player. So d4, we go knight c6 again. So if d5, oh, c4, I said we should play pawn to e5. If d5, we go bishop, b4 check, and mostly white blocks with the bishop. So we take the bishop and play knight c e7, intending to put our knight on g6 next. In fact, I can first play knight f6 attacking the e4 pawn inviting bishop d3 and then d6 then knight g6. So this is all what I covered in the previous video on the mechanics defense. So castle shot knight h5 is coming and then uh, that knight will sit on f4. So we looked at this guys you can watch that video again. The position we get is similar to uh, that position which we get in the Mexican defense or the Black Knight's Tango. So I'm planning to go Queen G5. Can I? Or maybe I take the Knight, take the Bishop. What? Hmm. So I can. T I don't know. Oh, let me play Pawn to G5. Idea is if Knight takes, I take with my G Pawn opening up the g file for my king's rook so now i go king h8 then rook g8 is coming first of all i take the bishop yes or maybe i play ah uh, no let me just take the bishop first and then queen h4 hmm or rook g8 attacking the pawn first i also have ideas of putting my rook on h6 now i can go queen h4 first i go with my pawn attacking the g4 pawn okay g takes h5 now i think let me plant my rook on g3 and then play queen h4 later on or queen g5 i don't know I can go queen h4, I think. Rook a g8 is also coming. Look at my pawn structure on the king side. So I can now play rook a g8, creating a battery. I think I like my position so much. What can I do here? <laughs> now here is a situation whereby you have everything that you needed but you don't know the continuation can i take the pawn or maybe i go rook h3 i don't know maybe i can just take the pawn first threatening to take on f3 what is that ah oh, i can now suck on g2 because i have queen h1 check wow so let's take on g2 and then queen h1 is coming if rook takes i will go queen h1 check first and then met on g2 with my other rook wow <laughs> oh my god if king e2 i can still take the rook give white a check and then go in with my other rook oh white just resigned this is so amazing i'm very happy i don't know i don't know what to say but i'm very happy i had so many ideas let me show you if rook takes for example i was planning to go queen h1 check and then if 
king e2 for example i would have taken the rook on g2 and then let's say if king d3 take the queen and take the other rook but if let's say king e2 immediately i would have taken the rook and after let's say uh king takes i would have gone queen h2 check and then if king e1 that's checkmate wow <laughs> All right, you guys, I think this is all for today. And please consider subscribing to my channel, hit the like button, share this video, and feel free to check out the link for my website in the description down below where you can purchase all my courses at very affordable prices. Thank you.